Hello, it's Sebastian Danicic here again. This is week six and we're going to talk about object serialization. Object serialization is when you've got some data structure that you've created in Java and you want to save it to a file for later use. So there are two things you have to be able to do. You have to be able to save this data structure to a file for later use and then you also have to be able to read it from the file back into the data structure. So there's writing to the file from the data structure and then there's reading. There's reading the file back into the data structure. So um, the first exercise I've given you is to adapt uh, a program from week 5 called wordsort.java so it maps uh, uh, so so it saves the map to a file. So um, if we look at uh, this program again, uh, what happens here? Um, we have um, uh, well, let's run that program just to remind ourselves what it does. Um, so let's go to uh, week five. If we say Java C uh, words sort dot Java, Java word sort, and I think we give it a file. And what it does, it uh, for each file, for each word in the file, um, it says how many occurrences there were of that thing. So there were three occurrences of ape, one occurrence of cat, one occurrence of dog, two of paper, three of rabbit, and one of schlongel. And this is a map. Now, we might want to use this map in another program somewhere. So what we want to be able to do is to save this pro this map to a file. So how do we do that? Um, so uh, let's look at the solution. That's called map from. That's called read map from file. Dot Java. No, no. What's it called? It's called. It's called. Word sort map to file. Dot Java. So let's see if we've got that. Yes, we have. So let's have a look at that program. Um. Uh. So it's exactly the same as before. We've created this map. So all this bit of the program will be the same as the one before. But now what we do is we declare an output stream, an object output stream, and we associate it with a file name. So this is creating a file called map file ready for us to output our map to that file. And we simply say, uh, so here we create the output stream, uh, we write we simply in one command we write the out we write the whole um, map to the file in one go uh, we flush the output and we close it so you just have to remember that's all you do so for any object here that's that's serializable you can simply write it out to the file to the object output stream in one command so that's how to write it out now the next thing we want to know is how to read it back so that's what the uh, the next exercise was. So we've created this file called um, called map file, and we want to have another program uh <coughs> that reads it back. So here we are. So here's here's um, the solution. So we've created this map file, which is a file representing the map, and then we want another program that reads back that map from the file. So let's look at um, that'll be read map from file from j read map from file dot java. So let's do read map from file dot java. 
there we go. So again, what we do here is we have a, f a, f um, a file input stream and an object input stream. So I've got this object input stream which I'm uh, associating with this map file that we created in our other programs. So then what I do is in one command I read the object from the object input stream, this object input stream I've created here. Now what I've got to remember to do is cast, because read this this will return an object, I've got to cast it to a tree map from of strings and integers because that's what my map uh, that's what my map object was. So I close the input stream and so now map will contain the uh, the um, the tree map string integer that I've read from the file that I created that I wrote to the file in my previous program. So just to test it out, I print out the contents of that file. So all this is reading from the file, converting that to a map and printing it out. So let's try that program. Um, and there, what's that doing? That's reading from the file map file, and in this map file, uh, we must have when we called it first time, we must have called it with with a different program from what we called for, from a different. Um, we must read from a uh, from a different text file than we did before, so it's printed out something different this time. So let's just see that. Um, so if we say word sort, let's say Java C word sort map to file dot Java. Oops, Java C, sorry. Spelling mistake. So now what I'm going to do is call Java word sort map to file da da da. Uh, Da 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 week five RRR. Uh, now, if I uh, run the same thing I did last time, it's printed out um, what I expected it to print out. So that proves that it prints out whatever the last map that we stored in a file was. Thank you very much.